George Orwell, the famous English novelist, once said, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Yes, I'm here to talk about the disparities. United States of America spend the highest per capita in healthcare, yet the quality ratings lag behind than many developed countries. These low quality scores are often attributed to the inequalities among the subpopulation within the US. Previous research has demonstrated African Americans and low income individuals had poor access to care, uninsured individuals have poor communication with their healthcare provider, and the African Americans and Native Americans had higher hemorrhage mortality. Yet, the disparities across medication use have never been studied. I am a pharmacist and an epidemiologist. I look for the root cause of a health problem and its clinical implications. A medication is said to be potentially inappropriate when alternative medication exists with equal efficacy but lower risk profile. Another form of inappropriate medication is use of multiple medications together, which can be detrimental for the patients. The purpose of my research is to assess the association between potentially inappropriate medication with the socioeconomic status of the patients, like income, education, their race, their sex, their age, and also their rural and urban residents. For this purpose, a total of 30,000 patients from all the states of the United States were selected to represent the entire US population, among which 50% of them were above 65 years or older. Inappropriate medications were selected based on the list provided by the American Geriatric Society and American Family of Physicians. As you can see, my result shows that 80% people above 65 years had at least one inappropriate medication. And as we hypothesized, people with lower income and education had higher inappropriate medication as compared to their higher income and education counterparts. African American males had higher inappropriate medication than the white males, and among the whites, females had higher inappropriate medication than the males. Yes, disparities across medication use do exist. To address a problem, first we have to accept a problem. Let's raise our voice against this. Future studies should seek to better understand the factors contributing to this inappropriate medication. At the end, I would like to say, like Martin Luther King Jr., that I have a dream that all of our patients will one day live in a nation where they will not receive treatment by the color of their skin, their income, their education or gender, but the content of their medical conditions. Thank you.